Okay. So, for the past week, I have been playing Sky Factory 4, getting prestige points. You see, I'm at 95, and have been saving them up. And in the pair box here, I have accumulated 5 points. And I am finally done after 4 and a half days of just farming prestige points. I can finally get Project E. Once I get the 100 prestige points and get Project E, I'm going to start a new world. Not the Project E world, because I need 250 prestige points for that. But I now have 100 prestige points, and I'm gonna get the Project E. There. One click. An effortless click. And I have my favorite mod. I'll be able to uh, start a new world with Project E. I'm actually pretty excited to start a new world because for the past week or so, well, for the past four and a half days, I've been doing nothing on Sky Factory except for getting prestige points. Getting this world for 250 points doesn't even seem worth it because you could just get the bag. You can get the prestige that gives you the bag with all the re early game resources right away, up to diamonds. So it pretty much completes the first chapter of advancements for you, which makes it really easy to get a transmutation table. I'm just gonna do the standard first world. But yeah, here's the bag you get with the advancement. You get all these cool saplings. Now, if you're wondering about uh, the previous world I was using, uh, don't worry about it. I didn't really want to record it because uh, there's already a thousand recordings of that, and why would you want to watch that? But for Project E, there are maybe a few videos. But to get the transmutation table, I'm gonna have to play normally well, with all this stuff, for a few minutes, I have to build out and I have to get glowstone, redstone, and a diamond, and obsidian, and that is when I can start uh, transmuting. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten one more point so I could get ore excavation, because that's pretty useful. Wow, I was so impatient with getting Project E. I just didn't even consider any of the others. Except for the ones I already had. <laughs> Look at all those advancements! Got a diamond sapling. Okay, I've been farming these trees for a while. The only thing I need now is glowstone, so I'll be going to the nether. And probably losing all my items in the process. I'm not going to lose those. <laughs> but here we go. And now, just have to wait while my game loads the nether. Of course, I spawn many blocks away from actual land. So I have to go back. See, so I could go straight here. That's really dangerous. I mean, look at all those mobs. I'm gonna have to go all the way over there to where that safe-to-get glowstone is. I am so glad I have Optifine right now, because with all this lava, having every single one of these lava blocks animated would drop my frames to like 10 per second. Finally made it to one of these nether things. I mean, it's definitely not the normal nether. It's like a big spider web or something. Alright, now that I have enough glowstone, I am out of here. And now, a philosopher's stone. And now, a transmutation table. I'll just put it on top of this furnace. And I can shove everything in. Well, except for these. Now all I need to do is focus on generating EMC. Here's my EMC setup. Just a bunch of diamond saplings and hopping bonsai pots. Just a stack and a half of acorns. It's about 75,000 EMC. Well, now I gotta get emerald saplings, because emeralds are worth twice as much as diamonds. 
there's an emerald sapling, which allows me to double my EMC gain generation. 600,000 EMC. Enough for a lot of things. Wait. Emeralds are the same as diamonds. Although they're usually twice... They usually have twice the EMC of diamonds, but here they're the same. That is... Disappointing. And here I'm planting all the other saplings so I can get their resins for crafting recipes. And I've gotten to a million EMC. Got some coal so I can start making cool fuel. And I completed the first set of advancements and got myself a prestige point so I can actually get ore excavation. And after all the time it took me to get all of those advancements, I got a full inventory of emerald acorns, which is 2 million EMC to get me to 3 million. Got dark matter. red matter a collector so I can get stuff like gunpowder without needing a mob farm like this well you gotta wait to get enough EMC that'll get upgraded to gunpowder and now I need a hyperkinetic lens. And if you don't know what this does, be prepared to be surprised. Going to the nether. All right, here I am in the nether, ready to use this hyperkinetic lens. Oh, there's a blaze in my way. No, oh, this does eight damage. Oh, now there are two blazes. And that one spotted me. Wow, okay. Well, I guess I'm dead, considering I couldn't see I was dying. Oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> Just barely not dead. Okay, this time, I'm gonna bring armor. Huh. Okay. Right now I have diamond armor and I'm ready to go do the thing I was gonna do. Well now, I'm gonna show you what the hyperkinetic lens does. I'm gonna charge it. And I have some EMC in here stored in this star, which will transfer to this as soon as I use it. That's what it does, and it immediately gives you the items. Oh yeah, it's completely ignored. It can break anything, even obsidian, even ardite, instantly. Yeah, netherrack has pretty much no blast resistance, but these ores do. So you have to hit the ores dead on, or you won't get the ores, and you'll get the netherrack instead. So actually, yeah, use the highest setting. <laughs> wow. I died in the lava, so I'll just teleport back to my grave. Yeah, in Sky Factory 4, if you die in the lava in the nether, it puts your grave somewhere outside of the lava in the closest location. And the closest location was on the platform. Why doesn't Blaze Powder have an EMC? 
What? That makes no sense. Alright, now I have the Watch of Flowing Time. This is one of the most overpowered items I have ever seen in Minecraft. Well, as long as it's on a pedestal, it makes things, it makes blocks around it ten times faster. But the pedestal's pretty expensive. I had to quickly leave after this happened, so I'll just greet the ending in a voiceover. Hope you enjoyed. Comment any suggestions you have for the next video. I really appreciate it if you subscribed and shared this video or my channel. It would really help me create more and better content in the future. Anyways, bye.